help you. You look like you're doing fine. All the animals' waters are frozen, so we've got some five gallon buckets. So we can change them out a couple times a day, make sure they have water. Through the, the vent, through the wind. So, get a little snow in the middle of the barn because the vent up there at the top, the wind blows the snow and ice and rain through. Give them an extra scoop. Ben giving them extra scoops. Just on staying outside when you can come in here, I have no idea. Come on, that's not yours. Come on, here. <coughs> Twiggy. Twiggy, come on. It's being difficult. Twiggy, come on, right here. This is yours. Who wants hers, mine, and theirs? Donkey, grow all. some legs. I gotta go. Come on, get yours. Look. I know you're feeling young and spry, and you don't want this senior feet. You know what? Don't have to go in. We're standing on the south side of the barn and all the snow and ice is blowing off the barn and right onto them. Come on. They've got a whole other stall over there that's open that they can go in and get out of, out of the snow. They put their hay bale inside so it would stay dry and give them plenty of food inside. Dave, can you put some more food over here for Donk? Give me a scoop. Empty Is it tasty? Is it tasty? Oh dang. Let me go look and see. I can't remember if she's. I forgot to check and see what the temperature is outside this morning. Uh, Last I looked, it was 19. 19? I think the weather said our high today was going to be 21. Twiggy's mm. uh. feeling jealous. So you're going to have to give her another scoop or she's going to come over. Oh, 
she's back. Am I going to have to babysit you this whole time? Come on. Come on. Twiggy. Move out of the way. Got my hair caught up in her grits. You're just being a rude. Stop being rude. I know, survival of the fittest, and you fit her. It's really not that bad. You got a hole? I need bail. Got a hole for bail, ain't here. We're here, where it's warmish. If you're gonna babysit them, I'll start on chickens. Okay. We need the hatchet and the. Peek in on these chicks. You look fine. You're plenty warm. You got plenty of food. Water looks good. You need help? No. An inch. An inch thick. Which I guess for a lot of people is not a big deal, but not exactly Which normal for here. Not exactly. It happens occasionally. I have a bucket of hot water in the wagon. We have to do this sometimes, uh, a few times a year. People up north have to do this every day. We don't well, have to, to do it. this extreme once every 10 years. Yeah, this is super thick. That's why we don't have a heater. You ready for the hot water? and stuff were frozen so you gotta carry the buckets out. Making your own skating rink? Uh-huh. Grid like gridlessness. I know I was just gonna rink. say that gridlessness <laughs> they have a they live up in Canada and uh they flood they dug out and flooded an area so they had their own skating rink their off-grid homestead skating rink if you haven't seen gridlessness they're pretty cool they're fun to watch need some help yes please i'm glad you're home this is the wrong lid for this bucket it's a little tighter than normal Well, the blue bucket I thought it went with, there we it go. broke the blue bucket anyway. I only had it on one little bit. Pookie hair all over me.
Get your warm water. Don't. I better hurry before it freezes again. <laughs> Twiggy's a runner off. Find out what that's about. Chickens, they don't remember snow too well. They're, they're kind of uh, not wanting to come out. So you don't know what's this white stuff, huh? Chicken door did not open all the way today. Whoa. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but we can sure feel it. Wow. About to blow us over. All right. I guess while you're putting the seeds out, let me see what's up with this door. Maybe it froze. No, it's not frozen. The controls are frozen. Yep, it did not like the did not like the cold, so chicken guard did not. Yeah, I can't even see the display. It's covered nice. <laughs> Not wanting to open. Bird feed in the in the feeder. Some little wild birds. Yep, some little bird. In here looking for food. Certainly not a. Not chickens. Not a big old chicken. All right. It says it's still on. It says it's still working. Uh, it won't reach the door. I guess I'll find a stick or something and prop it open. Yes. Stick is a good idea. Uh, Who does that? Living traditions. I think they have a stick. Oh, that opens and closes their chicken house they door. Go at, well, yeah, they go. Yeah, that's the how they do it manually every day. So we'll find something to prop that open with while she puts out the soaked seeds for these guys.
So you're doing that all on the stomp? stomp? Mm -hmm. With Can, the Coghill dance. With the Coghill dance. All right. It's a new thing. He's, he's got more experience at stomping pans. Yes. Stomping the ice out of buckets. These rubber buckets, we've had... We've had these rubber buckets since we... When the kids were little, we raised longhorns. Took them to shows. These are their food pans. Come in handy. cider water from yesterday. I don't want to waste it. I need the hatchet. No, not the hatchet, the, the what? strainer. My barn strainer. It's in the red bucket. I don't know if it helps, but I like to get the ice out of it. The less ice, the longer it'll stay thawed out, I guess. So I put the, the little propane cooker in here in the greenhouse with the, with the uh, oil heaters that we have. I'm going to check on it and make sure oh, I'm getting some condensation I can see. I can grab, the, grab the door here. Let's see. Kind of keeping the ice melted off the top, but condensating quite a lot putting out some heat so let's see we've got some lettuces and cabbages those guys all look good that is red roselle it did not tolerate the frost last night the uh, broccoli plants still look good the uh, cauliflower looks good these flowers don't look great but they're all right Parsley's coming up and still doing good. <laughs> this is the parsnip sitting. Sage, thyme, cumin, more Italian parsley. But all of the basil is looking pretty pretty frostbitten. So we'll probably end up having to replant the Why basil. But that's in the house? Oh, they're okay. already dead. They're already frozen. Oh dear. So that's not a not a big deal. But we have these two oil heaters in here that we were hoping would break the chill. They've done pretty good until we got below Maybe 30. I should put it underneath. I don't think so. I don't know how safe it is to put them underneath, but we could. And then this morning, with our temperatures dropping, I put this uh, propane sure. stove in here. It's just on low. We haven't gone back in yet to see what the temperature is. Look it up there. But it's melting the it's ice. It's melting the ice off the top right above it. And it's the overhead water. Will it hurt if it gets water? A few drops, it, it won't hurt it. But I'm, let me, I'm gonna take what one What about more. if you put a big old giant thing of water? I thought about the water, putting some water on that, but then it's gonna create that much more humidity and moisture in here. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Well, we it, can't water in here right now very well, so. Well, I think maybe I just wanna turn that down a little bit more. You take your glove off and feel how much you take your glove off. I take my glove off. Voila, another glove. It's warm right here, but it's the further up I get away from it, it's not like it's gonna, it's not hot enough to melt anything, I don't think. I mean, it gets nice and cool. Yeah, but what I was, my water idea, it's true that it would put a whole lot of moisture in here. However, it would create more mast for heating. Yeah. So if any of you guys have done that before in your greenhouse, uh, put some kind of a heater in there, 
I know a lot of people have heaters, but we we don't have a heated greenhouse, so we're just doing what we can to keep all the plants alive if possible. We got roll-up sides to let the heat out. Yeah, because we normally have the opposite problem, so we have yeah the roll-up sides okay, to let the heat out. In here if you can, water. yeah. But just because uh, of the sun. So right now we're just going to leave the propane on. We may come back and put a water bucket on there just to disperse more heat. Sounds like a good idea for more mass. I like that. I'm just concerned about the additional. Could open the doors. <laughs> it's kind of self-defeating, isn't it? I don't know. We may also want to put some more uh, cloth over these plants too. That might help. We have the Agrabon we could put over them. So My we may do that later roselle. today. My roselle is. I know. Gone. The red roselle didn't make it. But. Yeah. Everything on this? the ground is still doing okay. I mean, some of it looks a little wilty, like this, um, um, it's a type of broccoli. Can't think of the name of it right now. And then the asparagus, broccoli. The greens and carrots and spinach. bok choy and spinach all look happy. Oh, speaking of that, uh, I guess Dee Dee's not going to come today. <laughs> Nobody's coming today for, for a pickup. No, the uh, roads are too wet, too messy. Um, well, we pick lunch. So, let's go in and get us some breakfast. Feed us. I'm gonna take some spinach in. Yeah, we can put some spinach in our in our breakfast. I think the leaves get picked anyway. 